right, it is a cold, rainy December morning, and we are riding in my 2006 Nissan Titan. Now, I'm not an expert on these trucks, but I do know, because I bought this one, that they have a notoriously bad rear end, specifically from 05 to 07. Now, I bought this truck with a rear end whine. I actually traded my Dodge for this truck. The Dodge had some mechanical issues. This one had a rear end issue with kind of the understanding that the rear end would get replaced on my buddy's dime. And so it's Chase. You guys know Chase if you watch the channel. And uh, we are going to do that replacement today. So if you know more about why these rear ends fail, comment below and let us know kind of what the fail points are. I think it had something to do with seals based on what I've read. Um, but evidently they're just failures. And so there's this thing on the internet that says you can put an 08 or newer rear end into your 04 to 07 truck. But there's a lot of speculation about it. Some people say it bolts right in. Some people say you have to change the pinion angle. And there's not kind of a clear cut tutorial on how to do it. So we're going to make one today. I'm not a big fan of tutorials where people talk the whole time. So we're just going to cut straight to the chase and go through this process of swapping out an 08 rear end into an 06 Nissan Titan and hopefully it'll fix this terrible rear end wine that we've got. We hope. The first step is to jack up your car. Now we used wheels and tires to hold up our truck. I do not recommend this, but we didn't have any jack stands, so eh. eh. So we've got the truck jacked up. We're sitting it on wheels. I don't recommend this, but it's what we got. Um, let me just go ahead and preface this. I don't recommend anything that we do today. I'll say it this way. We're not liable for if you copy us. There we go. Does that sound good to you? Yeah. Does that cover me legally, you think? Sure. <laughs> Let's do it. The first step is going to be to remove your rear wheels. We are going to be removing this rear end, and this is the first thing in our way. This is the new rear end, but I'm going to go over what we're doing on the old rear end because this one's easier to see. You have your chassis hook up here for your brakes. We're going to undo that. We're going to have to move our brake lines from the old rear end to the new one along with our calipers, and then we are going to have to unhook these ABS sensors underneath the truck and just let them hang. And this came with a full e-brake kind of system so that's where the e-brake hooks up runs all the way back so we're going to replace the whole thing the e-brake in my truck doesn't work hopefully this one will and uh we'll just throw this thing up under there and then we'll have a working rear end easy as that next we're going to remove this distribution block from the new axle we're going to be changing this setup out and i'll show you why in just a minute then it's just a matter of unplugging things and disconnecting everything from our old axle we're going to start with the abs sensors then I'm going to remove this cover off of the brake distribution blocks and remove the hard lines. Now, I had trouble with this hard line. It kept wanting to round out, and I didn't have the right line wrench. So we moved up to where it connects at the chassis and pulled those soft lines there. We'll end up transferring all of this over to the new axle. We disconnected the four bolts holding the drive shaft in place. These are not torqued down very hard. It's very easy to get them out. We did not pull the drive shaft away from the rear end. That'll happen as the rear end moves out from under the truck. Then it was onto the shocks. This is pretty simple, one bolt and a nut. And then to get the bolt out, it helps to jack the rear end up so you can get some of that tension off of the bolt. Cool. After that, it's the final step, which is removing the leaf spring mounts. This is four bolts underneath the axle. Hit it with a hammer, it'll drop right out and you can pull the U-bolts out. It's important to note that we have the axle supported for this step, although it wasn't as balanced as it should have been. From there, we just balance it onto a jack and pull it out from underneath the truck. All right, now we're just gonna line up the rear ends and swap the stuff over from this one to that one that we need to swap. Now we did decide to move all of our brake stuff over. We knew that it worked on the old truck, so we might as well use it on the new one. We left the rotors in place, however, because the e-brake systems on each of these trucks is a little bit different and we didn't wanna tamper with that too much. Now it's 
time to get the old rear end out of the way and slide the new one under the truck. We left it on the pallet for this because it was just easier for us. I definitely recommend using two people for this job. I cannot stress that enough. It makes it way easier and way more fun. I could not imagine doing this solo. Now, reinstallation is basically just the reversal of what we just did. So we started by putting our U-bolts back on and reconnecting the axle to the truck, but then we ran into our first major issue. The bleeder screws have been broken off by the previous owner. So we're gonna try a few things. We'll try ease outs first. If the ease out doesn't work, we'll weld. And uh, if that doesn't work, then we'll get new calipers. All right, so no luck with the old calipers. This is just specific to our deal. If your calipers are good, if your bleeder screws are good, then it won't matter for you. But for us, we had to get some new ones. So our bleeder screws were stuck. The ease, the ease out wouldn't get it out. And so we are going to put in some fresh ones. With our new calipers fixed, it was time to put them back on the truck, bleed them out, and take the truck for a test drive. But it was really dark outside by the time we got done with this thing. So let's fast forward till tomorrow. All right, so it is tomorrow, the sun is out, and it's much easier to see now, but more importantly, cut this air off. Listen to it. Completely silent. I can even roll down the rear window. I think I did this in the beginning of the video so you can hear the sound of the rear end, and... Absolutely silent and that is a wonderful sound when you've been dealing with a noisy potentially almost failing rear end now this swap was super super easy I mean honestly very easy it did take us some time because of the brake caliper situation and um, and then scheduling conflicts with our families and stuff but as far as the actual swap itself super easy super simple now there were concerns with pinion angle because this is a two-wheel drive rear end uh, with the same gear ratio I think it's like a 335 or something like that but it's the two-wheel drive rear instead of the four-wheel drive and a bunch of people said you're gonna have to adjust your pinion angle all that stuff we forgot to measure the pinion angle before and after which we honestly meant to do and we just bolted it up the way it was now there's no driveline vibration there's no issues there's no noise so I guess that means it's okay but I guess it's gonna matter uh, it's gonna be different in every different application is, is the best way for me to cover myself here. But for us, we didn't have to change anything. The only part that wasn't a, just an absolute direct bolt-in was the brake system. Uh, it looks like on the older trucks, the brake system used a two line in and two line out to each of the, the rear brakes. And then the new system, you have a single line in that splits off uh, into both, uh, both brakes. So we just pulled all the stuff off the old axle, all the hard lines and the distribution, the distribution blocks and move them to this one. There were already, there were already um, spots for them to bolt in and everything. It was literally a bolt-on application, which is pretty awesome, and it just works. So if you do have an 04 to 07 Titan and you've been thinking about maybe swapping your rear end out for the newer model, I say it is an obvious, obvious solution, especially if your rear end is failing. You're gonna spend six to $700 on a new 04 to 07 rear end and you're gonna spend around uh, we spent like 850 I think on this one shipped uh, from Texas with a warranty um, so it just seems like it's a no-brainer it's gonna future-proof your truck it's gonna you get all of the benefits of the upgrades Nissan made to fix the problems that this rear end had originally and it's just an easy swap I mean honestly it's it's just easy so if you have been struggling with this, or like us, if you were struggling to find information about this swap, we took the risk for you. It does work. It is a direct bolt-on replacement. And uh, honestly, I think anybody with a simple set of tools and some jack stands or wheels, if you're like us, can do this in their home garage. Hope you guys enjoy this. More importantly, I hope it was helpful for you Nissan Titan owners. And maybe this video will help save you some money when it comes to repairing your first, I don't know if it's first generation Nissan Titan, first, I don't know, the 04 to 07 Nissan Titan. I'll see you guys in the next one.